I have baby pocket gophers everywhere. Hmm. Wonder how small they are. Now, this is my property here in Hard, Florida. I live on a sand ridge, and every year starting from November through March, I start seeing these mounds pop up in my yard. And that begs the question I know a lot of people ask, what are they? And you know what? In this video, I'm gonna show you. And I think they're kind of pretty. Inside this little container is the creature that's making the holes. It's a scarab beetle. There's actually two species in Florida, the Florida deep digger and the Ocala deep digger. Now, let me show you how we find them. Traveling to one of the sandiest sand hills in North Florida, my dad and I venture into the Ocala National Forest. And right away, we start finding the deep diggers mounds. Well, here's a mound right off the road. Hey, check this out. This is from a Ocala deep digger. Now we have two species of deep diggers here in, in the state. And this one happens to be in the Ocala National Forest and they call it the Ocala deep digger. It's a scarab beetle. See all this debris? They actually use this debris to pack in the gallery where this female will lay her uh, her eggs. So let's see what we can find, if anything's in here at all. What I usually do is I brush away all the debris like this. Now somewhere around this mound is a hole. And uh, it's going to be, well, let's see if we can find it. Move this stuff out of the way. As you're digging through this mound, you look for the beetle. Sometimes the beetle is in there and sometimes it's not. So let's see if I can find the actual hole. There, there it is right there, but unfortunately it has caved in. So you're going to see these deep diggers in not only sand hill habitats, you're going to see them in your yard, as long as your yard is high and dry and nice and sandy. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. We'll show you how it's constructed. They'll do, they'll come up the hole and they'll actually construct or dig a hole right here and they push up this mound from the center not from where the hole is but away from the hole so we can break this down and this is when sometimes you will find one outside of the hole in this in this uh, dirt that they have been bringing up and here look at that okay it doesn't happen to be one in this one though got one right here Mike like a male small did it even look fresh look at it yeah, it was moist when I dug it. There she is. There he is, I should say. Look oh. at him digging. That cool or what? It is. That is a, that's the Ocala deep digger. Now I should mention why they call them deep diggers, and it makes sense because the females can dig their holes down to 10 feet, which is pretty amazing. After the hole is dug, the female will bring down a bunch of debris, in which she will lay one egg. The baby deep digger will be underground for most of the year. The baby deep digger will feed on the leaf matter and such, until it pupates out and climbs up to see daylight, which is around November, and then the cycle repeats. And just because I have one, here's a comparison between a female rainbow scarab and the deep digger. What does the deep digger think about all this? Let's hear it. Thank you. 